Today's video is made possible by our good friends at Simply Safe. Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop on this very chilly day on the homestead. We woke up to 19 degrees and it is very cold. Winter time, what better time than to kind of catch up and I guess pay for all of the sins of the summer or all of the maintenance that needs done on things that get torn up. Behind me is my John Deere snowblower. It's a 1330 SE. I bought that brand new, but it's been with a friend for a couple seasons. A friend that I trust, but I don't really know where we're at. So I know with the way things are, I, I'm taking a hard look at equipment and my motto around here is, is less but higher quality and being able to take care of things because supply chains are tightening. Our, we're entering into a life of austerity that we can't even begin to understand. So it's gonna be important for us to take care of important pieces of equipment that we rely on. This is where you're gonna start end of season when you put it away. And then when you need it, you're not gonna to have to deal with problems. And when, the, when are the problems gonna be? About two o'clock in the morning when you have to plow your driveway out so that you can get to work because the snow plow just put three feet of snow up in your driveway. Fuel is always gonna be your problem. We have to deal with horrible fuel. The stuff that they give us, especially in winter time, is full of ethanol and it absolutely destroys everything, clogs stuff up. So if you have the means, Always, always make a policy for if you're a professional homeowner, your policy is if you have a can of fuel, it doesn't go in that can in your home unless it's non-ethanol. That will hold a year or so. But if you're just doing regular pump gas, you've got about 30 days before this start, stuff starts causing corrosion and gelling and problems. And it, it is a huge problem. So I threatened my friend's life on on penalty of termination of friendship if he did not run anything other than non-ethanol fuel in there. So I have no question he does. But just to make sure, one thing you can do is gasoline stabilizer. I, I use Amsoil stuff. Their stuff is the best. Uh, so put this in there. That's going to make any of that fuel, that garbage fuel, at least hold for 12 months. This stuff is super concentrate. One ounce does 2.5 gallons. And that can on there is probably all of a gallon, maybe even a gallon. And it's pretty good size. So we'll just add, we're spilling, we're spilling. Once we add that stabilizer, we'll want to run it for four to five minutes. Not having grown up with snowblowers, I didn't realize they didn't have batteries. Uh, this one has an electric start and a pull cord, so you can just plug it in. Now's the perfect time to change that oil because the engine's been warm and it's circulating. You want to warm your engine up a little bit before you change the oil. It gets it, all of the composites, everything kind of stuck to the oil and so you get all of it. That's simple enough. If you look up the manual for these little engines, most of the manufacturers are going to tell you you're going to need that 30 weight oil. That's fine until you hit freezing, but if we're talking cold weather engines, you want to run a 530 synthetic. This is worth the extra money. The Amsoil oil, in my opinion, is the best that you can get. And what you're, what you, the, I guess what you're getting, the extra what you're paying for is it's going to ooze a lot better in cold weather. That it's going to be always, you know, that startup really tears stuff up. If stuff is really thick and not moving, you, you get metal to metal contact. And to be honest, it really is a CYA for when you just don't get to the maintenance. Let's be real, realistic. You know, this is the ideal we would hope to do every year, but it's just not possible. Sometimes there's just too much to do. So in the event where you need to stretch things or stretch oil changes, this makes a big difference because these little engines, they are hard on oil. First off, they're air-cooled, so they run hotter than water-cooled engines. And most of them don't have filters. So everything that that uh, everything stays in the crankcase and they run hot and so you need to change that oil a lot. So the, your synthetic, like your Amsoil, your premium oils, they're tough. They're gonna be able to handle the abuse that those engines put on oil. This here is an official Proho SOP. We're gonna do this one time, one time only. Order yourself a, a box of black Sharpies, link in the description. I've got a grift. We're gonna write this down, snowblower. On this list that we're keeping, we want the quantity of the oil because I don't want to be guessing anymore. I want to, when I'm doing an oil change, I want it to be quick. I want it to know exactly 
measure it out, put it in, and not have to be pulling dipsticks and fillers, tubes and all that. So we're going to find that out and write it on the machine. I need to clarify on that oil. I think I said 530. I'm using 1030. 1030, if you're right around freezing, we don't get cold like our friends up in the Midwest do. If you're down in the below sub-zero, then get the five weight. But here, this is fine. Either one would probably work. The synthetics are so good. This is my first time using, I got my new uh, Amsoil pourable spout. I've been ordering the oil in these one gallon cans because it uh, stores better. How's this thing work here? And it's, uh, you save a little bit by doing it. Look at this, it's got a valve on it. Well, I need to measure this. What am I doing? <laughs> I'll use another Proho Tool Essential ratio right here. We can measure out 16 ounces. Start with 16 ounces. All right, that'll be a pint. That turned out to be 24 ounces. And I'm gonna write that on the machine with a Sharpie. I'm gonna just put my oil. And it's 24 ounces. You see, gentlemen, piece of cake. We got the big hurdles taken care of. We got the fuel and the oil sorted out. There's a whole bunch of other little moving parts and two excellent products are like a spray type of grease. I use Amsoil spray grease. This is white lithium. Excellent. And it's got a little applicator so you can spray it in there and M&P, which is basically their version of WD-40 that actually works. Lithium spray grease is good for these augers. These screw augers, see, they're under quite a bit of pressure. Especially when you're under load there. Something a little bit thicker like this is good. It behaves well in cold weather. Looks like we've got some sort of a little pinion gear here that could probably use a little bit of love. That turns that chute round and round. Oh goodness, look at that. Yeah, we're gonna put some, actually put some heavier grease on that. When you use grease that's in an aerosol, even if it's the highest quality grease, it still is so diluted. It doesn't have nor near as much, uh, doesn't do as good as, as it in its greasy form. For everything else that doesn't need a big heavy grease, this M&P makes so, every, it just makes such a difference. Everything gets so dry and this protects it and whatever moves or has a, a pivot point, anything that moves, I just give it a shot. Check your pole rope if it has one, make sure it's not frayed. If you've loaned your machine out, it's a guarantee that the starter, starter rope will be frayed, damaged, and shorter than it was when you loaned it with a uh, not factory issue, not tight in the handle. Having the parts that you're gonna need on hand for, for critical tools is, is something the guy really wants to think about that. Think about your oil change to have up spark plugs, filters, just get one up on all of that. 100 foot of starter or pull cord rope could work across all of your tools and last you a lifetime, but if you, if you don't have it, you know, what do you use? And check your belts. These are going to have belts and they're going to be, if they're old, they'll be cracked and ready to break on you at the worst moment. Check your belts. You're looking for obvious signs of damage. If there's any cracks in it, take it off and replace it. You can, if you have a good hardware store or parts store, you can take that to you. They'll measure it and just give you another one. They're very standard. I'm not going to stock belts. Just keep them in good shape. You'll know way ahead of time before they fail, as long as you just check them once a year. If you were a foolish professional homeowner like me and you bought a John Deere snowblower instead of a proper Honda with rubber tracks, Take a look at those tires. Get those tires aired up. These are going to be 15. You just don't want to have to deal. If you got one low and one high, the thing kind of goes in circles and you're fighting it all the time. So take a moment, check that, check for cracks. We're just checking everything, putting hands on stuff. You put your hands on stuff and you know what's going on. This is my official. This is the official professional homeowner tool of the year, the Milwaukee M12 air compressor. This has been life changing. <laughs> if you don't have one of these, I bought it, I thought it was a gimmick, but I assure you, it is not. It is the best thing of the whole year. <laughs> Gentlemen and ladies, if you've been putting off getting a security system for your home, there's never been a better time. Simply Safe is a security system that you can order online, you could order on the phone, and you can have it installed, regardless of skill level, in your house in about an hour or so. You're gonna get 24 seven monitoring, you're gonna have the ability to put outdoor cameras, indoor cameras, smoke detectors, glass break sensors, motion sensors, everything to cover your entire house completely. Simply Safe has a very interesting new technology called Fast Protect. 
If you sign up for interactive monitoring and fast protect, in the event of a break-in and you're not home and no one can be notified, Dispatch at Simply Safe will actually forward evidence. It could be video footage of what's happening real time to law enforcement. This most likely is going to give you much, pref much preferred treatment and a faster response time. And that's very important today when law enforcement is stretched so thin. Funny story for us, our Simply Safe system, I had installed a motion sensor wrong, and Mama Kitty had been jumping around here in the shop, and at 2 a.m., 2 a.m., the alarm went off. Well, Simply Safe called me twice, but I had silenced my ringer, so I didn't hear it, and I slept through the alarm because it was out here in the shop. Well, 41 minutes later, the sheriff knocked on our door at 2 a.m. asking about alarm. So we were glad to hear that it worked, but we were very sad to inconvenience the sheriffs. If you've been putting off getting a security system for your home, there's never been a better time. This month, our friends at Simply Safe are offering 40% off. You can go to simplysafe.com forward slash Wrangler Star, or you can click the link in the description. You get 24-7 coverage. You get no contracts. You get 60 days. You can try it. Use it all you want. Money back guaranteed. I have two systems running now. We've been using it for years. I sleep well at night having it. Thanks for watching, and back to the video. I don't think I've used my big compressor since I've owned this. It's, uh, it's obsolete, to be honest. One of the greatest hand tool combinations of all time. Sadly, Snap-on doesn't make this anymore, and I have no idea why, but it's the 82 3 drive, just the classic hard handle ratchet with the extension, and that's the magic right there. That receive, It's an extension with a handle on it. They don't make this anymore. They don't have it with that, and I don't know why. These two right here paired together are the grab-and-go for... If you're working on small engines and equipment, this right here, uh, man, it just gets into, it's like a speed handle, it gets into so many places, and when you want to drive nuts quickly, you've got that handle. When your hands are greasy or cold, you know, it's hard to get on those extensions. This is really where it's at. Snap-on, please make this again. You, This combination here and then with the solid, these two ratchets with the fine 80 tooth right there, that would be... Yeah, that'd be in my top 10 right there. And finally, we'll turn our attention to the auger. These augers are powered by the shaft straight from the engine. It comes into this gearbox, which changes direction 90. Now, this has a fluid in there. There's a plug we can check. But these also are on shear pins, what they call them. You can see this one's spinning freely. This shear pin is missing and gone. That's designed in so that you don't destroy the machine when you go and start sucking up your extension cords or the rock wall or, or what have you. It's a designed weakness to protect that. So you should have these on hand. Fortunately, I still have one, so we can let's measure it and then get a few ordered up so we can keep them on the machine. Seems like it's always, always the Cobra pliers I go for. Well, that ain't going to come out. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a mic on it. Mitotoyo says quarter inch shear pin. We'll finish up by checking that gear oil. All right, well, it looks clean and uncontaminated. This is reasonably new, so... Sometimes it's best to let sleeping dogs lie. This final step is not for everyone. If you want to take your Proho level to God tier level, then we're actually going to wash our power equipment. East Coast guy says, huh? I know. Imagine that. Washing and protecting it with something like Mudslinger, it makes a big difference. That protective, that whatever that material is that they have, just makes everything just move better. It just lubricates everything on there. It protects the vinyl. Things don't fade. And it's really nice stuff. But this bio wash here, before I do that, that 
before I protect it, I use this stuff. This is a neat company. They're in California, and this stuff is really, friend, you know, as friendly of a detergent as, as you can use. Use something like this or Simple Green. Be really careful with these chemicals. I, I, I mean, it's hard to do, cut chemicals out of your life, but the, if we can expose ourselves to things like this that are less toxic, especially in a closed room, is so important. There are not many colors prettier than John Deere Green when it's new, is it? Goodness, it's so nice. These are all, these are Maxim, this is the brand, Max, Maxima, and they also have, get a little three pack of their microfiber rags. They're very good. They hold up and they last forever. We're not going crazy here. We're just showing that we care. I finish everything up with Mudslinger. This is my favorite pro product. You can take stuff that looks really weathered and old and faded, and it just brings it back to new, and it holds really well, and it doesn't have that awful, horrible, nasty shininess that you get like on horrible products like Armor All or those cheaper ones. Just, it's got a nice applicator. You just kind of missed it. It goes a long ways. What is it about snowblowers and rototillers that make them kind of cool <laughs> as far as walk behinds? Like lawnmowers are not, but these two have always been, seemed like they were kind of cool to me. <laughs> I don't know if it's the big heavy traction tires or it's almost tractor like, but I've always kind of liked them. They have a good stance to them. Now I've got my list. I did the work one time. I looked it up and I recorded it. I'm going to take a photo of this right now. I'm going to take a good photo of it, nice and clear, and I'm going to save it. Now this photo is going to go up to my cloud. I, I keep everything, all my desktop and everything, everything, my whole digital life is kept on, on the cloud, right? So I, I have a, a copy there. So that's going to be there. So how I've been working is, you know, now that when I'm working and doing an oil change on my bike or something, I pull up my file that has all of that information. You can even add the tools that you need with it. You know, I mean, it's, you, you're going you're gonna to be on your computer in the evening anyway. You might as well be productive and, and do something that uh, where you, it just makes the job uh, enjoyable. By doing this now, the thing that, for me is it when the crisis comes when the big storm comes rather than waking up and thinking or having to get up an, er, an hour or two hours early for work and to get out and blow the snow so you can get your car out and thinking you know oh man i was going to do all that stuff i would have got out there i thought this thing was ready to go 100 percent, and it wasn't i have one auger working and that you know that would have been something that would have had, i would have had to have completely stopped and then went and tried to find something and make do you know just a nightmare that was averted for this very reason. So all of this is about, you know, everything that I'm, you know, my life is about trying to make things as simple and as frustration free as possible. I don't think that God intended us to have so many things to juggle, you know, to, so there's so much information that we have to, to sift and handle and, and process that we can only dedicate so much time to it. So if we're going to choose this lifestyle and, and have the complications of all these time-saving devices on our hands, um, you know, we have to get control of them some way. So now I can hang this. I have a hard copy. We can hang it and flip through it. And when I want to do an oil change, I can throw it down. It's going to save me a ton of time. Most likely I grab my phone or if I just want to forward it to Jiraiya or Jack, I said, hey, Jack, would you, would you change the oil on the, on the snowblower? I'll forward that to him. He's got all the information. He's not going to make any mistakes. It's going to be great for everyone, right? Discipline equals freedom, just like Jocko said. Discipline equals freedom. The discipline of doing something like this is going to give freedom. It's going to pay dividends um, down at the other end, uh, at the other end of the line. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers. We'll see you all on the next video.